Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. E, kepada yang terhormat Bapak Wali Kota Ridwan Kamil, kemudian e, yang terhormat juga para dosen e, dari National University of Singapore dan dosen Unpar juga kepada rekan mahasiswa semuanya yang dari NUS dan dari Unpar dan jajaran uh, Pak Wali uh, Selamat sore Hari ini kita akan mengadakan uh, presentasi apa yang sudah dilakukan dalam satu minggu ini Pak um, ada empat uh, regu dari 42 mahasiswa yang terdiri dari 20 mahasiswa NUS dan 22 mahasiswa UNPAR mereka di mix, kemudian dibagi menjadi empat grup menghasilkan dua gagasan um, dua gagasan untuk raga dan dua gagasan untuk mengisahat seperti itu ya. ini baru inisial idea jadi uh, dalam satu semester ke depan kami akan mengembangkannya sampai selesai kira-kira bisa mendapat ya, jadi mungkin dari saya uh, Sekian akan Thank you very much for this opportunity for us to present to you. They had uh, a very short time, about half, two half days to visit the site because of the rain. And then they had a design workshop of two days. So this is the initial ideas to present to you and your team to get your valuable feedback and comments so that they can develop the design further. And the design is based on um, some of the parameters given by the planning department who gave us a talk about Braga site and about Yang Sarai site. Um, and the team from NUS with 20 students, uh, three students are exchanged for one semester so the two of them from Poland, one from Netherlands, and our own NUS team also has international students, we are mini United Nations. We have a student from Malaysia, a student from Indonesia, Vietnam, uh, Myanmar, and uh, China. So today I told them to each talk about their design for seven minutes, and then we have a question and answer to have hear the feedback. Uh, the first team, there will be one Praga team, so I think we suggest the two Praga teams will present and then we can hear the feedback and then we will change over to the Yang Sarat team. So, the first team... Hello, Mr. Rajwam Kamil, as the mayor of Bandung. My name is Ferdi from Farahang University, Technic Faculty uh, and Architecture Department. First of all, I would like uh, to introduce Bra about Braga. Braga is one of the famous trade in Bandung, both among local and tourists. But we often forget about the Braga village, which is located behind the famous trade. Our team, the Braga team, tried to propose how if we make the village of Braga also as one of the people attractions. Some of SWOT analysis, but we picked the three main subjects. Okay, there are uh, the river from the opportunity subject uh, and from the weaknesses we got low income level uh, and the next objectives will be introduced by my friend Fadli. Thank you. So I will be going through um, two more objectives. So the second objectives will be uh, more towards the creating of more job opportunities. So the idea comes in whereby, as you can see, as you can see from the screen, we put the commercial area on the two corners of the street. Firstly, we're making full use of the rivers over here. And along that side, we actually have this river promenade. Um, yeah, along this river promenade is where the purple purple circle are actually to show the integrated spaces. And that's where we are, can have a playground, we can have a barbecue pits over there, or the kindergarten that's located very near to the river. Actually, this central area of um, the basketball court. Go in, you see the corner spaces, you see the river. So these three connections are always present. This level of interconnectedness is present. Good afternoon, my name is Bregas. I come from Parhyang Catholic University. And this is my friend, Anche. I come from uh, National University of Singapore. 
Uh, what we propose here is the Kampung Braga 2.0. Uh, first of all, the initial idea is to give the promoting promoting the existing culture of the Kampung Braga itself. And then the secondly is to improve the, the income of local residents. Uh, Third, from the north to south to connect all of the stores that we have. Uh, and also we have here in the uh, in the in the south uh, south part of the site is this backpackers inn with, and hotel shops and water to to emphasize the kampong living community itself. And this is the notes that we are creating. We have this exercise note that is located in the north side, and also the social note uh, up in this, in this side but that I talk about with the pop up market in the middle of this. And also this is the section of the building. As we can see, there are commercial area in the first three floors and also the housing area. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mayor. Uh, for me, I will be talking about the housing types we have created with this modular system that we adopted. Because of the way we have uh, uh, adjusted the housing such that they are uh, coming at the cross section, we have two different types of in the compound. Whereas you open the door, you'll be able to see your neighbor across and it sort of creates a familiar uh, situation for them. And for us, we are creating uh, two different types of residential unit so as to able for them to able to choose whatever, which one they, uh, they like. Yes, I think uh, some comments are for both schemes. Yeah? Some are maybe specific. But for both scheme, uh, please know what we call typical urbanism. Yeah? This culture produce its own urbanism. That's why I cannot copy what Singapore SDB can culture in Tibando, or I can copy the European type of urbanism. But it's really urbanism is the expression of who we are. And this is of who we are, very Asian. Asian are expressive. Asian are usually less logic in some sense, right? To make sure we retain this richness of culture, uh, but might as well also to push extra. And I think it's important. Why important? Again, back to the basic, that's who we are. We love to, to engage the urban uh, agriculture uh, in many things. Number two, Braga is very famous. But this is behind Braga. So the challenge would be how do you bring the value of history to your projects? Yeah? Either creating a series of walkway, creating a, uh, a series of spaces that at the end now become uh, one of the most visited by mostly our poor side of the society who cannot enjoy, enjoy the city. So my point is, this is not landscape architecture, this is architect also. So you use your imagination, your geometry, your organic uh, geometry skill, uh, extend beyond just building. That's my lesson. As a, as a mayor, I use that power also to, to push everything that can be seen by eyes, must be designed. The horizontal hill also still have some dispute in the land ownership, so I can offer uh, a discourse with the, with the community. And it doesn't have to be as a high rise, yeah, but... Good afternoon, Mr. Levan Kamel, as the mayor of Spanu City. Now, we from Montserrat Team 2, me, Michael, and my friend Bro is from Holland. We will present you Ima Saren. Living happily together. Can you? <laughs> As you can see at the legal zone on the right, on the right picture, uh, sorry. you can see that this yellow is the market. So uh, from these functions, we have uh, a thing in that this uh, a closer circle, more like intimate interactions. Uh, we split them, uh, first of all, by introducing uh, proper infrastructure. That's something that was completely missing in the site. There was a network of little mazes and alleyways 
Um, but by creating a new uh, street, market street, we both effectively split it into two zones. Um, we create a, a proper entrance for the residential area. Uh, we create a potential for the market. It's now omnidirectional, so it can function more effectively. Uh, and you could have one main entrance and a surface side as well. So this is for the market and more. They have mountain technology with this efficient through the zoning and it also have the surface road like behind and beside the market. This is the open plaza. Um, actually, even though it looks quite uh, social spacious, you know, degrees for the people to interact with their family, their RW, or their entire area, how they want to. Open plaza in an omnidirectional market. Um, for a happy uh, Nyang Surat, uh, which is green, social, healthy, beautiful, and clean. Hashtag Ima <laughs> Thank you. Starting my presentation with a series of photographs to better understand the community of uh, people living there. So, as you can see from this photograph right here, uh, we actually observe that people don't really have social spaces together. And this is one of the main concerns when we actually went there to interview them. And all of these uh, narrow alleyways which you see here are, end, end up as uh, spaces for children to play because they don't really have their own spaces to play. And you can ask us for layer and, and site coverage. Uh, we realized that we can't really use 100% of the site uh, to, to actually build up. This porosity will also lead to a rise of more social spaces, more shared spaces because at the end of the day, three main spaces here, one, two, three, uh, these two spaces flanked by the residential blocks will actually be the community courtyard. Elaborating a bit more on the shared spaces, uh, the community courtyard, why is it so? Is because we actually analyze the circulation path within this area uh, to have two more private uh, open spaces or activity spaces for the residents and one uh, public square. For Good afternoon, Mayor. So, um, I'll elaborate more on the market and how it uh, fits into this whole scheme. Uh, so, this diagram actually, uh, this sketch really shows the, how we foresee that um, entrances for local residents into the uh, community courtyards. So, uh, layout, we have a three-story market, the ground floor will be a wet market, and the upper floor will be a dry market, for brilliant things. Two by four, and each, each one will consist of four floor, which consists of one uh, RT module. And then, to make uh, social spaces in each module, we move each model outside in opposite direction to uh, to evoke a space like this. Oh, at the front here, yeah. <coughs> so next time is a different uh, challenge. Yeah, I think design uh, the the. The good thing about being a designer is you are challenged by different issues, different contexts, different problems in each project, which keeps your mind working. Gang uh, Sarat uh, is a typical uh, urban problem that we have, yeah. That also I want, uh, what I'm trying to say is. I think that's not correct, yeah, in my opinion. If you are given the, the size of twice as size of Nyang Seren, would you do the same thinking, creating a large machine of architecture? So size of quarters, yeah, to be manageable. So I think I don't see that approach. I don't, I, I'm not saying your approach is not uh, suitable, but I'm saying is there's many approaches. But when it comes to the size, it's so big, you have to be very sensitive when it comes to scale. Uh, next point is, remember, when you design high-rise, yeah, when you design high-rise, you're affecting the whole city. Yeah, you have to remember this mantra. If you design high-rise, your existence is affecting the whole city, which is the skyline. So imagine if all the skyline just a flat, okay? Thousands of buildings occupying the city with a flat. You don't have skyline, it's all just flat. 
So please give extra in section perspective, extra verticality to the high rise. Either you create it, you know, urban giant uh, uh, watch, you know, uh, or creating giant again uh, advertisement. It's very urban. It's very dense uh, complexity. You might as well use that complexity as your concern. <laughs> but by the end of the year, we would like to see the end result. And please uh, uh, apply all my advice because all is very real uh, aspect of the reality of urbanism in Bandung. Uh, to make sure you have a very strong and good skill at the end of the process. For that, I thank you and uh, thank you for all who come to present. And luckily, uh, today we have South Africa Festival, South American uh, Festival in front of you. So after this, you can enjoy the food and uh, enjoy the city hall. So thank you. I think I will propose, let's take a picture, yeah? Let's, uh, by the stairs. Let's go outside, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,